Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and we're getting ready to convert our New Holland 1720 over to a quick attach. It's an older tractor, it's an older uh, Swartz loader, and it's a pin on style. You know, pin on style is uh, old technology. Uh, now the quick attach makes it a lot easier to switch to different attachments to the front. And I got everything I need to convert it over. I did one video uh, it's on the channel with the plate that uh, you see right here and the plate basically this whole thing here is just going to get cut off with a welder or an angle grinder and then the plate is going to be welded right onto the bucket so that way the bucket is quick attach compatible now the other part is what goes on here and uh, that I made a video on as well, and uh, that's just because uh, we ended up with the wrong attachment, but it was an attachment that we could make work, so we did a little modification to it. So definitely uh, check out that video as well. But we're getting ready to load everything up. I've got the uh, part that goes on the tractor right here. I had it in back of the Jeep for the welders to look at to make sure they could convert it over. This is set up for a John Deere, and it's actually, uh, this is made to convert a John Deere quick attach to a regular quick attach. I, you know, I have one John Deere, we had three of them, and I'm not a fan of uh, anything John Deere under about a 50, 60 horsepower nowadays. They're just not made that well. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I didn't know John Deere had something different, but it does. So we're going to load this in the loader. I'm going to take it over to the shop, and we're going to get some welding done. And when they get done, I'll show you the uh, end result. Now we got it in the bucket. Kind of see it just a little bit better, at least the backside of it. And uh, we're on our way to the shop. Well, I just picked it up from the shop and drove it back home. And I'm going to show you what they did. Unfortunately, I couldn't get footage while it was at the shop because they were doing it during the day while I was at work. But uh, we'll do a little walk around and then I'm going to disconnect the bucket from it. And you can kind of see uh, the whole setup with both, uh, both parts that they did. And uh, one thing you'll see from the welds is uh, there's a lot of bare metal. I'm going to get some paint tomorrow and kind of paint over that, give it a little corrosion protection. So I'm gonna hop on the tractor, head over and drop this bucket off and we'll take a closer look. Okay, I've got her set down and to disconnect, you got two levers. You just pull these levers, which will release the, uh, oh, hard to do this one-handed. There we go. Hopefully I didn't shake the camera too much. So you just pull those levers down and then I'm gonna hop on the tractor and just uh, kind of lower the uh, lift a little bit and it'll drop out of this channel here. And I need my uh, forks, which you can kind of see over there. So I'm gonna back up. I'll do a closer look at this and then I'm gonna hook up my forks. Okay, now that it's off, you can see the uh, front of this where it's mounted in. And uh, like I said, it took a little bit of welding. I don't know uh, how many hours it took them. I don't think it was a whole lot other than the fact this is uh, pretty thick. But uh, they basically, for this project, they uh, changed the pins that were down here that I showed you earlier. Uh, they have uh, the wings that were already on here. They just cut them off. And they welded it on, welded them onto here, was all they did. So it was a really simple process to do. And I mean, other than that, there's not a whole lot to this. But man, they're a whole lot nicer to have this and be able to swap things back and forth. And like I said, you can kind of see 
Uh, there's some bare welds, there's some bare metal, so that's going to get some paint tomorrow. The plate, which uh, also came from uh, Yenta Motor, uh, they basically uh, just welded it in place of where those wings are. And uh, I will say this is a half inch plate. And the guy that did it was asking me where I got it from because he uh, said he liked it. He said he usually doesn't see them that thick, but uh, he was pretty impressed. So I think he's going to be ordering a few of them as well. So we're going to go hook up to the forks now and uh, see how easy it is to hook up to them. So we're hooked on to the forks now. And uh, the only thing left to do is just pull your levers up and it locks it in place. And it's really that easy. Actually, I had a video of me just going up to it and checking it, but the camera fell over, so I don't know how much footage we got, but hopefully I'll be able to include most of that in. If not, I can always come back and uh, redo it. But uh, that's all it takes, and you, know, you get front uh, bail spears. There's a lot of different front attachments that uh, hook up to these that once it's converted, you can just go and put on. And pin-on style isn't bad, but it takes a while. It's a kind of a pain in the rear to move. With this, I mean, it literally, without stopping for the video, I'd say maybe a minute and a half to swap them out, maybe two minutes. I mean, it's quick. So uh, yeah, very, very happy to have this, very interested to see what it's gonna do. And you know, it's a little bit of a smaller tractor than my other one with a quick attach. So really, really curious to see how it's gonna work and what all it's gonna do. It's Matt with McGee Farms. Hope you enjoy the videos. I'll have a link to uh, all the products that you see in the video at in the descriptions. It's 